Welcome to Tim's Strategy of the Week series. Today we're going to talk about a great smart money strategy. Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. Thanks for coming back for this installment of the Strategy of the Week. Today we're going to look at a trading strategy that is designed to follow the smart money traders. Oh, and thanks for the feedback last week. At your request, this week I upped the number of trade picks to two a week on Mondays. So stick around the end of the strategy and I'll update you on all the active trades. So who are these smart money traders and what makes them so smart? Well, maybe calling them smart money traders is not quite accurate. Perhaps we should call them the big money traders. And of course it's smart to follow them because they got to be the big money traders for a reason, right? <laughs> anyway, if you've followed this channel for a while, you'll know that the best way to make money as a small retail trader, which is what we are, is to follow the big boys and do what they do. We can't lag behind them. We need to follow them pretty closely, otherwise we'll be left holding the bag. So to follow them, we have to anticipate their moves, and since my crystal ball went into the shop about 15 years ago, I've had to find other ways to read the minds of the big traders. The best tools I know of are price action and volume. So today's strategy is a nice little indicator that takes both of these things into account. The volume weighted moving average or VWMA is calculated by giving higher volume candles more weight in calculating the average. The average will follow price faster during times of high volume trading, giving more credence to that pricing. During times of lower volume, the VWMA will be similar to the simple moving average. The VWMA can be found built into most trading platforms. So here's our strategy. Step number one, we wait for a strong breakout and a close above the VWMA. In order to get a good read on the breakout strength, we want to see strong bullish bars that break above the VWMA with conviction. In other words, a big long candle that closes near the top. When the price trades above the VWMA, we know this could be our initial buy signal. As a second condition to validate the breakout, we look for a close above the moving average. The higher the closing price, the better. Which brings us to step number two. Look for a retest of the VWMA and a reaction higher from it. After we have our breakout, we wait for a pullback and retest of the broken VWMA. More than this, we also want to see a reaction higher from the first retest. Ideally, we want to see a pin bar or at least candles with long wicks at the bottom. When we see long candlestick wicks, we're likely to be seeing institutional buying or smart money buyers. Remember, long wicks represent price rejection. If the price breakout is genuine and real institutional buying was behind this move, then we want the buyers to defend this price level and keep the price trading above the VWMA. And that brings us to step number three buy at the opening of the next candlestick after the pin bar. It's important to follow the steps and only enter the market once you have enough evidence that the institutional money is on your side. When you have multiple confirmations for your trade signal, you increase your chances of success. So buy at the opening of the next candle after the pin bar. And never forget this, place your stop loss below the breakout candle. The lowest price of the breakout candle is an important technical level because that's the moment the smart money stepped into the market. If this level gives up, then we know for sure the buyers are very weak and it's best to let this trade go by. Our stop loss strategy is to place our stop loss below the breakout candle. And last but not least, we also need to define a take profit level for our strategy, which brings us to the last step. Take profit when we break and close below the VWMA. When the price trades below the moving average, this could signal a reversal. If you are a buyer and all of a sudden we trade below the VWMA, then it's best just to take the money and run. However, you'll notice that many times you'll get false breakouts below the VWMA. Don't let that fool you. If you're not sure that you're seeing a real reversal, take half off your trade and move your stop up to break even on the remainder until you're convinced that it's actually going to continue trading below the VWMA. And of course, this was an example of a buy trade. We use the same rules for a sell trade, but reverse the trade direction. 
here you can see an actual sell trade example. And that, my friends, is the volume weighted moving average strategy for this week. Let me take a few minutes to catch you all up on the significant active trade picks. Bitcoin just keeps going up. It's broken over this 16,000 level. Looks like we might get a close up there today. My stop is currently at 14,374.76, locking in 35,3403 per coin on my trade. So I'm pretty happy with that one. It's Thursday afternoon and Mankind Corp or MNKD made this huge pin bar today. So I went ahead and closed this thing right here at 279 uh, with a pretty good profit. This pin bar of course kind of signals a reversal. So I'm out with 3.6% overall profit on this trade. So here you go. The U.S. dollar Japanese yen gave me a great object lesson on how I should follow my own advice. <laughs> Most of last week I told you that you should be standing aside until this election has been decided. And of course, with the weekend announcement of a projected winner, Monday morning the whole market just went bonkers. Of course, I took the signal on Friday and got short right here at 103.25-ish. And this bar on Monday right here gave me the full 2% stop out. You know, I try to avoid these things, but I didn't listen, did I? Well, I'm done with the USDN for right now. You win a few, you lose a few, right? We can't let it get to us because taking these hits is just part of the job. Just a warning to watch McDonald's Corp. It's been attacking the bottom of this bear flag for the last several days. I'm recording this, as I mentioned, on Thursday afternoon, just around market close. So it pushed through and it retreated. So we're not getting a signal today on this. We'll see what happens in the next few days. Keep in mind that the U.S. election is still a little bit up in the air, even though there was a projection announcement over the weekend. There could still be some rocky roads ahead on that. And lastly, crude oil is attacking the top pretty hard. This is kind of a reversal signal, so it may be holding at this level and dropping a little bit. Just keep your eyes on it. And that's it for today's video, guys. Be sure to come back next Wednesday at 3 p.m. as we continue to discuss technical analysis in our trading education series. Don't miss my trading picks of the week on Mondays and strategy of the week on Friday right here, Trading Strategy Guides YouTube channel, 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when these videos come out. You guys have a great restful weekend, and I'll see you with a trade pick on Monday.